guys, this is Autumn from The Primary Techie. I just wanted to show you my calendar math program. I just updated it for the 2016-2017 school year. So if you already own calendar math, you can go into my store and download the update for free. Um, this PowerPoint's a little different because normally when we use PowerPoint, we wanna go into slideshow, which is this little option down here. When you go into slideshow, it makes this slide take up the full screen and that's how animations and sounds and cool stuff like that can happen. But for this, it's designed to be used in edit mode. So this is just some information telling you about how to use this. Um, your kids will follow along with principles. There's different options, but this is the very easiest one to do, which I did last year, literally the day before school started. Um, you, I just made copies of all these pages and stuck them in the notebooks for my kids. And we had them all year long. We did this every single day. So at the beginning is my calendar notebook. And then we start going through and this will follow along with the PowerPoint on the board. So um, our days on the hundreds chart, this is just for counting. And you would go to this little box and then press the delete key and the box goes away and it shows a red number one. So they're gonna follow along and they're gonna trace over the one in their calendar with red. The following day, you'd go to the next little box, delete to see what color we're gonna use. We're gonna use green, and everyone's gonna color, um, use their green crayon to trace over number two. So this keeps them on task, and it stops them from like going ahead, and they've written 43, and you're like, really? We're only on the third day of school. I didn't want you to write 43. So there are a couple pages for that to get us through the school year, and then we have tallies. So, on the tallies, you'll just go to the little box, click it, press delete, and it'll show a tally mark. So then we're gonna make one red tally. And then the following day, you go to the same spot, delete, two. So you'll use this to build tally marks for your days. And then we have odd or even. Every day we get a shoe. I really like doing um, shoes for odd and even. I think it's fun. So we'll go to this little square and we have a purple shoe. So everyone is gonna color the first little shoe here purple. And then that's an odd number. If we don't have a pair of shoes, then we're odd. If we have a pair, then we're even. So we can practice counting by twos with our shoes. And then we have uh, graphs for, this one's for lost teeth. So if somebody lost a tooth, you'd click on this little box and press delete and we're gonna build bar graphs and they're gonna build their bar graphs to follow along in their chart. We have birthdays, and this is editable, so you would just go to the, click on it, and it's a text box, and then you would type who has a birthday this month. You can type their name, maybe um, this month I have a birthday, um, Dan has a birthday on the 5th. So you can type that in there. You do need to remember to save this every single day so it'll save the changes you made from the day before. And you're just gonna continue um, deleting things and adding things throughout your school year. But at the end of the year, you'll be able to go back to your Teachers Pay Teachers store and download the new version for the following school year.